Hey brothers and sisters, it's Paul here. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point. The time is short. It's time for you guys to look into how to pray and release all the curses of your life. So I'm going to put up a list here. I'm going to read them first and then I'll put it up. So Number one, establish your scriptural base in Christ. So if you haven't started reading the Bible, you need to start reading it, especially the New Testament. And know where you are and what you need to fix in your life number two confess your faith in Christ you need to read the Bible and understand who you are in the eyes of God and in that while you're reading you will discover who you are in Christ number three you have to learn to commit yourself to obedience while you're reading the Bible you will understand especially the red letters what Jesus tells us that our, the Father wants us to do. Number four, confess to any known sin in your family, anything, both sides, all the way back to Adam and Eve. Think of them, say them, repent for them, move on. Number five, you gotta forgive everything and everyone, all other persons in your life, no matter what they did to you. Forgive them, kick the sandals, get the sand off of them and move on renounce <clears throat> all occult objects or secret societies or anything you your family or anything you join naively it could be university you know uh, alumni you know you, you do the research you'll find out what they are pretty quick number seven <clears throat> images and of false idols accursed things you might not realize it but it's very clear the commandments say have no graven image, images of anything of heaven on the earth or under the earth look at what you have in your house whether I don't care if it's a gift look at what they are read about them then renounce them you don't need any other items you have God and finally the last and most important one is release yourself from all the things that you feel guilty for because as you're doing this you're gonna have a lot of guilt let yourself go you know it's okay to say I'm sorry God I do it every day God loves you so much and this is what he wants you to do and while you're doing this he's gonna be working and changing your heart that's all I'm gonna say for now to the next video I love you guys but God loves you a lot more